Do you want to be a legend in your own kitchen? How about doing it with this, making hamburgers in your kitchen? First of all, you want to start out with a hot skillet. So how am I going to keep this from sticking to the pan? It's just a, a nice layer of salt on there. I just put a little thumbprint. That's going to keep it from bubbling up so you still have a nice flat burger without that little bubble top. You only need to flip it over once. You don't have to keep flipping it over and over. Look at that. That looks like a burger. How do you like your burgers cooked? I like mine medium rare. How can you tell? Well, you can cut it in half and see how the pink is inside, or you can take its temperature. About 120 degrees is rare, about 126 to 130 is medium rare, uh, about 135 is you're getting in the medium range, but beyond that is you can chip a tooth because it's well done. 125, nice and medium rare. Here you have it, the classic American burger on a lovely soft roll, homemade pickles left over from the summer, ah, ketchup and mustard. This is what it's all about.